So, so there are two players right now that I think Aaron Boone, the manager of the Yankees, needs to tighten the leash straps on. Oswaldo Cabrera and Clay Holmes. Okay. Why? Obviously, neither one of them has been uh, <clears throat> consistent or very good this season. And Oswaldo Cabrera, I mean, I, I still think he's young. He's developing plays only in his second year, so he's got some growing pains to still get through. And he was, I think he was given a much bigger role this year than he was ready for. So let that be a lesson for these guys. And, you know, I do think he has the ability to be the super utility type guy for the Yankees, but we'll see, right? We'll see. But I wouldn't hesitate sending him down or optioning him out to AAA right now just to work on some things okay. mechanically, get some get some stuff in order before bringing him up and bring up a guy like Elijah Dunham or Andrews Chaparro, something like that, give them a, Another bout of energy. You know, they got a batch of energy with, with Jake Bowers. You know, he made a couple of defensive mishaps yesterday. He also nailed that runner a third, which is a pretty impressive throw on the money. And he's obviously has a bat. So I think as well, the Cabrera optioning him out, let him work on a few things while sending somebody up here in, you know, for a short period of time until that happens will be a good idea because they've given, I think they've given him way too much uh, room. And this is, I think, you know, <clears throat> it's a good thing on Boone. And I think it's not a good thing on Boone. I think they have to be a little bit more selective with who they give a lot of leash to, and they give a lot of leash to every a lot of a lot of people. So Cabrera's one guy I would send down. So would be Clay Holmes. Okay, I think Clay Holmes again. He's been very uh, unable to be dependable this year in the bullpen, and it's uh, worrisome. It really is worrisome. And again, to me, you got guys Ian Hamilton who kind of replacing him. You got Jimmy Cordero replacing him. Wandy Peralta got other guys here that are more than capable of doing this thing. And now that we've heard that they're giving, they're building King towards multiple late innings um, on, a, on a stretch on a regular basis, that's a good thing too. So it just shows that they're not entrusting in Clay Holmes either that much. So he seems to be more suited for a sixth or seventh inning role, <clears throat> which I hope that they do until he proves otherwise. Otherwise, don't be surprised if you see Clay Holmes or and, and or Oswaldo Cabrera being trade baited at the trade deadline. There's, there's guys here that can replace them. So, and that's the, oops, excuse me, <laughs> bugs. that's the thing here. And again, I would not hesitate to consider them as trade bait either. So, but I want to know what you think. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, if you're a baseball fan, or you're a Yankee fan, please do that. Cause I don't want you to miss out on conversations like this and other stuff and lineups, which I'm going to put out right now for you for this afternoon's game. The cold train is headed into the Bay of Tampa. Let's go. Anthony Volpe's leading off at shortstop. Glaber Torres batting second, second base. Anthony Rizzo batting third at DH today. DJ LeMay is at first base batting cleanup. Harrison Bader's back in center field. Okay, after his pinch hit heroics last night to help win the game. Okay, which tied the series. He's in center field. Isaiah Conifleff is batting sixth in right field. Oswaldo Cabrera's in there at third base today. Okay, batting seventh. Jose Trevino's back at the dish, batting eighth. And Aaron Hicks is in left field batting ninth. Okay. Um, I would personally have Bowers, and maybe Bowers is having some soreness or pains or something like that. I would have Bowers in there over Hicks. That's just my opinion, but <clears throat> you know, or Willie Calhoun. But again, maybe they are trying to build some trade value for Hicks, and uh, you know, this is the, the 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 leash thing we've been talking about. And on the hill, on the stump, on the bump, my man, our ace, Garrett Cole. He is in position to neutralize the the Rays and maybe do something, help the Yankees do something that nobody thought would be possible a week or two ago. Okay, they beat the Guardians in the first series. They have a chance to beat the, the Rays in this series before they play Oakland for four, and then Tampa again for I think uh, three or four. I think it's three um, in Yankee Stadium. So it's possible. But we, you're getting so many um, you know comments in, in the videos and just from fans saying they're gonna get swept by the Rays. Not happening. They're gonna lose pretty much every game in all of all these 13 games. Still remains to be seen. But they win today. That's four out of six. That's a pretty good start. I'll take that. Okay. So maybe it'll help the Yankees get on better footing. Maybe it'll ignite something in them too. Because like I said, and I, and I still am of the opinion, I said this last night. I was on, on live stream last night talking about the state of the franchise with Jim Riley from Ball Cap Sports. If you haven't seen that, take a look at it. It was an awesome, it was an awesome video. And uh, Garrett Cole right now is the vocal leader of this team, <clears throat> hands down. I don't think we have an offensive player who does what Kara Cole does in terms of vocal 
just being vocal with his teammates and, and pushing his teammates, getting in their face. Like, we need an offensive player who does that. Even though Aaron Judge is the captain, I think Garrett Cole should be the co-captain. Again, if you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments. Let out the comments. That's why this is fun to talk about. Okay, but that's the lineup. Let me know if you think those two guys should also have the uh, the leash tightened a little bit. And obviously, we have other guys there, but these are two guys that we want to do what we want to have here that just aren't doing well. I mean, Hicks, pretty much everybody is of the have has uh, has made their minds have been made up that they want to go on. I mean, you can't really blame them. So can't really blame them. But these two guys, I think they need to light a fire under both their asses. Let's talk about it. And definitely we'll get into it after the Nick after the game today. Talk to you later.